All right, Lisa. Yeah. Schwartz and Sandy's is opening on a scale of one to extremely shocked. How are you feeling about how they pulled this off? Oh no, I knew it would always open. I just didn't know when. And I'm really, really excited to actually be here and see it come to fruition because that's what you need to do. And I think they probably found it harder than they thought it would be, you know? But listen, hey, we're here and I'm celebrating it for them. I remember what it was like, you know, in the early days when we were younger and we started off, you know, we had something like 37 places now. So, you know, right at the beginning, it, it's challenging to get it right. Well, you've obviously gotten it very right, and we know we're filming season 10 of Vanderpump Rules, a decade of this show. Well, longer than that, because we skipped one, right? So we're 11 years in. Yeah. How would you describe the vibe of season 10? What's going to be different this time around? Well, there are different issues. I mean, there's much more mature issues. I mean, we've seen, you know, marriages break up. We've seen you know, people opening businesses, and I'm pleased to say that we're not making the same show that we were 10 years ago. So there's a lot of kind of evolution, so to speak. But you know, it's always been about a group of people that are so inextricably entwined and love each other, but also so volatile. There's a lot of still stuff brewing. I mean, that's, you know, they're quick out the gate, these guys. Will there be any new faces joining, or are we sticking with the people we were with season nine? I love to have new people, but it's kind of hard to integrate new people, as we've seen. Unless you're kind of inextricably entwined with somebody in a relationship, then it's hard to kind of get into this group because a lot of these people don't work for me anymore, you know? Um, I always have a lot of new people in my restaurant, for sure. What about old faces? Are we going to bring back anybody? You know what? That's not my decision. Honestly, I like to see people grow from their mistakes. I've been very vocal about this before, but it was a sign of the times and Bravo felt they did what they needed to do. But for me, you know, as you've seen, my job so much is to mentor young people, kick them in the ass and set them in the right direction. So I would have, you know, appreciated kind of having, you know, had the chance to do that really. But. Well, I think one of the people you've taken under your wing is Garcelle's son, who's working for you in Las Vegas, right? Yeah. I mean, fans, I think, would die if you were to ever film a cameo for Housewives with Garcelle. Would you ever do that, a one-on-one -on -one scene with her? Oh, well, I love Garcelle. I mean, Garcelle came to me when we were having this fundraiser for Haiti. She came to me and she said, you know, could you give my son a job? And to me, that's always something that I don't want to hear. I didn't know Garcelle very well. She, and I said, well, what does he do? She said, we want to work in the restaurant business. So then I thought, well, where does he live? And she said, Vegas. And I thought, OK, that's easier for me because I'm not so directly involved on a day to day basis. He's turned out to be a gift. He's been great. And so I put him as face of my restaurant, you know, of Caesar's Palace. And then he's moved to Paris and he's he's great. I like it very much. Uh, you know, I don't watch the show anymore, Housewives, but I can imagine she's got a lot to deal with, if yeah. you know what I mean. Does she, does she uh, give you any, come to you for any advice ever? Or do you not no. talk about Housewives at all? We actually don't talk about it. I think it's kind of simpler that way. I don't want her to be in a position of, oh, Lisa said this or, you know, so, no, we actually don't talk about it. But uh, do a cameo on that show? I don't think so. Well, she said your name when she said that Oliver was coming to work for you, and the lady's reaction was gobsmacked. Lisa Vanderpump. A what? <laughs> I don't know about it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the show since I left. But that's a good thing for me. Yeah. Better at a distance than in the mix. Yes, yes. <laughs> I had nine and a half years, and a few of those years were, were pretty tricky. You did. You Your name continues to pop up, though. I don't know why. I really don't know why they don't just leave it alone, but apparently, yes. Well, the latest was kind of this drama with PK and Dorit saying you did not reach out to them, and then you showed receipts to say I did reach out to them in the wake of the burglary. Has that been settled yet, or was what went down in the press what went down in the press? That was all that happened. Look, I'm not, my memory's not good enough to make up stories. That's why I could say, look, and they're saying, oh, you Photoshop this, you go to his name, you go to the messages, there it is, what more can I do? You know, I'm not into making up anything. As I say, I'm super busy with my dog foundation, my restaurants, my new grandbaby, you know what I mean? I, I, I know, it's just like it is what it is, okay. But there were some people that were quite good at making up stories on those shows, have you seen? 